So this week I'm going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft character from Creeper. No. Creeper from Minecraft. So let's get started. For this cake, I baked an 8 inch square vanilla cake that was 3 inches tall and divided that in two layers. I used leaf green food coloring and I dyed my buttercream a light shade of green. And then filled it with my vanilla buttercream icing and then covered the whole thing in icing using a 789 piping tip and a disposable piping bag. And of course, for all of my recipes, I will leave links in the description box below. Or you can click here. Once my icing was on my cake, I smoothed out using my offset spatula until it was like roughly smooth. And I used a piece of paper towel to help really kind of finish it off. If you guys would like directions on how to properly smooth ice a cake, I will leave a link right here as well. For some reason, everything in Minecraft is really pixelated. Not really sure why, so we need to make his face all pixelated like the video game. So I cut out a one inch by one inch square out of cardboard so that we want to airbrush on top of it. It will give me like little blocks. Now that cake is ready and our template's ready, we're ready to airbrush this cake. And of course, I'm using my little airbrush machine, which I love. This is a fantastic machine. I really recommend it. So if you guys would like a link to that machine or any of the products I use in this video, I will leave links for you guys in the description box below. Using my square template, I kind of hovered it over my cake. Careful not to touch it to your cake. Otherwise, you're going to rip your buttercream off. You're going to like destroy your cake. So just hover it like slightly above your cake. And I'm using some green airbrush, and I'm just going to start misting that over the template and that's gonna leave me a little square. Now when you're going side by side, you wanna continue the same way, making sure you're lining it up perfectly so you don't like have wonky squares all over the place. And of course, because it's pixelated, you wanna make sure you're going like a little darker, a little lighter, and different shades of green as you're going. You can do that by applying more pressure with your airbrush machine so it's gonna look pixelated over the whole cake. Now we're ready for his face. You could just freehand this, but I thought it would be a lot easier to use the template to make sure everything was lined up. So I cut it out of paper and then cut that out of cardboard so the pieces were kind of missing. Made sure to leave myself like a little kind of like a tab or something so I could hold on to it. Again, I just hovered that kind of over my cake and airbrushed black over the entire template. Then I just went over it again a couple more times, just kind of freehanding, filling it all in with my airbrush. I really wanted to add some different kind of color into Creeper's face to make it kind of pop a little bit more. So I mixed together some brown and green food coloring, and of course this is airbrush food coloring. And then I mixed that over a couple different squares just to darken it up a bit. Now to airbrush the sides of the cake, because the top of her cake is all done and ready to go. I'm just resting my template on the bottom of the cake, so right on the cake board, and just kind of gliding that along the cake board and doing the same kind of pixely effect. To create the second row, you just want to cut your template to the right height and then glide it along again, doing the same thing. And of course, for the third thing, you're just going to do it again. Cut your template again and it's going to glide right along that bottom row, creating perfect pixels. I hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to make Creeper as well as kind of how to do a pixely effect airbrushing a cake. Would we'll love to hear in the comment section below who's your favorite Minecraft character. If anybody could tell me why Steve's eyes always look crossed, I'm a little confused. Uh, when growing up, my parents always told me when I crossed my eyes that if I kept them crossed, that they would just stay that way. So maybe that's what happened to Steve. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel because I put like new videos out every single week. And hopefully, I will see you next week. Come back. I'll be doing another video like next Tuesday. Bye, guys.